Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you some more things hidden under here. So we were just playing around with the brush tool, the regular old brush tool. Um, I want to show you one of my favorite brush tools, the mixer brush tool. The reason that I like this tool so much is um, back in the olden days when I was doing my MFA thesis animation, Five O'Clock Shadows, uh, I didn't really use Photoshop because Photoshop back in 2000 didn't have these sophisticated brush tools. I was really looking for something that would mimic organic media, real brushes, real paint, and kind of give me um, those uh, effects. And so I was using a program called Painter. And Painter still exists, and it's a very good program. But um, because I do so many other things in Photoshop, once Photoshop got this mixer brush tool, um, maybe two versions ago, one version ago, I never went back. And I'll show you why in just a moment. So let's say, um, I don't know, I'm going to add another layer here. So we will be working with layers. And I just clicked on this button, add, create a new layer. But I can also add a new layer by going under Layer, New, Layer. OK, so there's about five different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. Let me get a color, so I don't know, some blue. And I'm using my mixer brush tool. Now I've got this uh, scraggly brush, which I really love. I'm going to make it nice and big so you can see it. OK, and uh, here you have different settings. You have wetness, load, mix, flow, etc. It also right now, if I uncheck sample all layers and I draw, it's just going to do that. It's not going to mix anything, right? Let's undo that. If I click on sample all layers, Oh, right. Sorry, I get I get excited because it really does mimic um, what happens in an actual painting studio studio, but without the fumes of turpentine or the chemicals or the mess. Right. So these are my settings to get that level of um, mixture wet 19, load 75, mix 24, and flow 76. I couldn't possibly tell you all the possible combinations that you might experiment with. I just know that this particular combo works well for me. Um, but definitely play around with these numbers. In particular, the wet is the one that really controls uh, how it's going to mix. So as I do that, so I don't know, let's say I wanted to do something with this black here. It just allows me to mix the current color with the color underneath. OK, so one more thing that I'm going to show you before we go into the eraser um, lecture is I'm going to go back for a moment to the regular brush tool. I just wanted to show you my favorite scraggly brushes, which I have to find. Hold on. OK, so here it is. OK, the, I, I know that this is my favorite brush because there are two 36s next to each other, but I've opened up so many brush libraries, it becomes a little bit hard to find. Anyway, I just wanted to show you with this particular brush tool, I'm going to just uh, go like this. As I start drawing, now this is um, in a separate layer, notice that it's not just giving me the blue, it's also giving me a little bit of the yellow because that's the background color. So some brushes will use the background color and others will only use the foreground color. I can't even begin to express how many combinations and um, variations on brushes there are. So really for best results, you should definitely experiment yourself. So I could also, if I uh, actually hang on, click the arrows and then I get sort of the opposite. And it really mixes the more I click on it. But uh, this is another um, useful thing to know about as you're working. So depending on the brush, you can get a wide range of effects. All right, in the next lesson, I'll just quickly go over the eraser tool because we'll be using that one as well in this course. See you there.